So this video is meant to demonstrate how to replace the palm rest on a Lenovo ThinkPad T530 model uh, laptop. And as you can see, the palm rest on this particular uh, laptop doesn't look that bad at all. It's kind of hard to see, but there is there's more wear on the trackpad than I would like. Um, mainly this laptop is meant to be sold. And because I respect the customer, I'm going to replace the palm rest and maybe think about ordering a sticker or a different touchpad for this one. Um, you can see how it's worn out right here. And it's also quite smooth as compared to the texture on this palm rest. And this particular touchpad uh, feels brand new. This is from a used machine, but it's much less worn. And it's in quite nice condition, so I'm going to swap the two. The first thing that you need to do is flip the laptop over and remove the battery. All right, and you will need a Phillips head screwdriver, later on a flathead screwdriver, something small, and something like a guitar pick, a sturdy one. So we'll start by removing the screws on the back case. Um, in this case, we already have the keyboard screws removed. There's one right here and one right here. Otherwise, we have one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, and nine screws to remove. So I'll get to doing that with the time lapse. Okay, now that that's done, flip it back over, open it up, and we'll take our flathead screwdriver and gently lift up on the keyboard, pull it out, and we can detach it from the board, system board. Uh, the next step is to detach this ribbon cable from the motherboard as well, which is the ribbon cable for um, the uh, palm rest. And you just have to lift this black tab up. Okay. Now I usually like to gently lift up on this end first. Just to try to gently loosen things up a little bit. I don't want to apply too much pressure. Feels like this is going to be easy to remove. I'll take my guitar pick and I'm going to start scoring along the edge of the palm rest and it should be easy enough to take out. Okay, my luck is that it was very easy to take off. So I'm gonna put this one up to the side and we'll grab the fresher looking one and we'll get to work putting it back on. Uh, just for education's sake, just in case you're wanting to access it, it looks like we have the Bluetooth card right here. Um, if you ever wanted to replace it. You'll have to remove the palm rest, it looks like. 
I haven't had to do that, so I did not know that until now. All right, now let's snap this thing back in. And we'll just line it up and gently start pressing it back down and make sure not forcing anything but just allowing it to snap back together easy as that okay once we start putting screws back in the bottom of the laptop we should be good to go that feels pretty good to me now we'll put the ribbon cable back onto the motherboard And we'll attach the keyboard and we'll give it a quick test run just to make sure that everything's working okay before we go ahead and screw everything back on. We'll put our battery back in. And let's just verify that the palm rest works. All right, in this case, we're just getting some flashing lights here. So I'm gonna turn this off, troubleshoot, and we'll catch up. All right, so cut forward a little bit here. Um, it turns out that uh, the only reason why I was getting that uh, seemed to be like a diagnostic uh, light pattern, the optical drive was out. I put the optical drive back in and Windows booted fine. Uh, this seems like kind of an odd thing to happen, but uh, in case that happens to you, there's one fix. Um, I actually tried reseeding all the ribbon cables, tried uh, plugging the old palm rest back in. Uh, everything led to that same just pulsating uh, power button. So it turns out that the optical drive just needs to be put back in, uh, which is a relief and also just kind of a weird fix um, but I'll take it so I'm just going to pause the video again and we'll resume taking uh, putting this thing back together okay so we'll shut down the laptop unplug it And now we'll go about putting the keyboard back in nice and secure. Just how it came, pretty well the reverse of how it came out. Okay, that's looking and fitting quite nice. Um, I have to say that this palm rest is awesome. It's in great shape, especially for being used. So that feels pretty secure to me. Now uh, the real test is fitting all the screws back in. So I'll time lapse this part and only pause if I run into a problem.
Okay, so I think this is a job complete. And I know it's hard to tell, um, but this palm rest is uh, quite nice. It's almost brand new. Um, I think it's a great fix for a great laptop. So if you're thinking about replacing a palm rest, it's really quite easy and hopefully this video helped hopefully this video helped uh, showcase that. Um, you know the Lenovo ThinkPad T530 is definitely worth upkeeping, um, upgrading. Uh, works great. It's a fantastic laptop. I really like it. And ho so hopefully this video helped you out and thanks a lot for watching and as always Feel free to leave some feedback, uh, point out anything I did incorrectly or a little bit off. Or if you liked what I did, and then leave a comment and just say hi. Okay, well, thanks again.